Hey everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'll be doing a review of The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. For those of you who don't know, this is a kind of magical realism book about a girl named Ava who has wings. And um, what I didn't know going into this is that it's actually kind of like, kind of has like, it basically follows the women in her family throughout three generations. So her grandmother, her mother, and herself. So the main themes that are kind of present in this novel or is love and just kind of like the scars that it leaves on a person um kind of the different types of love and like how love can cannot change a person and i am not really sure because i've heard so many great things about this that i think i kind of built up in my mind what it was going to be about so when i started reading it i think i was a little bit kind of disappointed um i felt like because it covers a lot of characters like there are some characters that you love but then there are some like I didn't feel attached to and I think that was the biggest thing. I will say though that I really love Leslie Walton's like writing style in here. It's very poetic and there's a lot of metaphors within the writing itself so that was really neat to see and kind of how there was like a magical realism aspect thrown into it and how you, like if you're reading something you're not really sure if it's actually happening or not. I will say though that um, I think for me at least like because I don't know like I feel like that this book didn't really have much of a plot to it as well so I think that was my biggest kind of thing about it. It's just like what is the point of this novel? Like I really liked kind of how it talked about like the symbolism and how like love kind of scars you and did it like familial love and all of that and how like kind of like the ghosts from our past like watch out for each other. I really like that but other than that it's like I didn't understand the point of this. So I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I feel like this is something that I'm going to have to reread in the future. Maybe just kind of get a better grasp of it because it was just kind of... I because I was kind of clouded by my judgments, my predetermined judgments of this book. Um, but I know a lot of people love it. It's just, I know like the writing was just beautiful. Um, but it was just, it was very good, like, it was very good in that sense. But overall, I feel like the story did fall flat. I know for me in particular, I felt like I wasn't really attached to any of the characters. Um, I feel like you get more, like, there's a lot of side characters introduced in here that you don't really care much for. And, yeah, so... I don't know I think this might be have something I have to read to kind of get more to like the deeper meaning of this book but I don't know like I still uh I don't know maybe next year I'll probably try give it a try but we'll see but I still don't understand if her wings are like real or if they're supposed to like symbolize something so if you like know what they mean then let me know in the comments below because I'm still trying to figure it out. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Um, let me know in the comments below what you felt about this book because I feel like it wasn't anything like I expected and I think because of that it did fall flat. Let me know if you think I should give this book a second chance. So yeah, uh, that's it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.